Okay then, so tonight I've booked this place. This is uh, Melville Castle, and this is actually cheaper than a travel lodge and a Premier Inn. You would not believe the price. It's on. So let's go and have a look around. But well, this is the size of it. It's a full castle. It's got its own private driveway and its own grounds as well. Brilliant. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is the bedroom. I've opted for a single room tonight, and this is what you get for fifty-five pound. So just put it in comparison, the local travel lodge was 88 quid. But instead, I'm staying at a castle for 55. So, let's have a look round. I get a four-poster bed. Yes, it's a single one, but geez, this has been renovated to a really high standard. I've got loads of pictures there on the wall. Uh, another tapestry there behind. It's really clean, we've got a brand new carpet. And a load of uh, really, really good quality, ancient furniture. But then again, they have done things properly. We've got USB charging points by the bed. We've got light switches right next to the bed as well. And plug sockets, so I can charge everything, no problem. We've got a phone. It's a four-star hotel. So there's room service as well. Uh, they've got a massive TV. Look at the size of that in relation to the bed. That's around 40 inch of TV. There's free Wi Fi here, there's free parking. I really can't fault it so far. Another thing as well if you book direct, you get a free breakfast. So not only have I paid £55, I'm going to get a free breakfast because I booked direct. This is brilliant. Nice big mirror here. Just look at the size of the room, it's really, really good. This is a wardrobe. Bit of an unusual style, I've not seen this before, but what, hell, what do we get in here then? So we've got actual real hangers this time, the ones that you could steal, but we're not going to. A uh, hairdryer in a bag and an iron just down there. Sorry about the lighting. Now there's no bag stand, but there is a nice desk here, so I've just put my bag on there. And there's a little, there was this on the desk, so this tells you all about the hotel. And it's a castle, there's a lot of history here. Is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. Spotless. It's like brand new. Brilliant. It's great to see. We've got a free biscuit with Cadbury's hot chocolate. What see here we've got? We've got Brodie's chamomile tea. Uh, we've got some apple tea. Lemon and ginger. Peppermint. Oh my god, there's loads. Earl Grey. Raspberry and peach, uh, normal English breakfast, another breakfast, and green tea. Well, we certainly have got plenty of tea to choose from. We also get a free bottle of water as well. You know, it's really, really refreshing to see a hotel that's standard for this price. I think it's brilliant. Let's go and have a look at the bathroom, eh? The bathroom's massive. For a single room, this is great. I tested the shower, we've got straight to temperature and we've got loads of pressure. Now, looking at the bath, there's a couple of black marks. Again, this is not dirt, as I've said this before. It's just an old, an old hotel and we've got bits of the enamel that's chipped off. Uh, it looks like it was a disabled room at one point, because these are all dis disability uh, features and there's a higher toilet. But I'm six foot five, so I'm really not bothered about a high toilet. The only thing I would say is it needs a proper sink, that sink's tiny. Um, but for one night it's going to be fine. And then we've got the uh, little extras here, which are little soaps uh, and conditioners, even a soap by the and a vanity kit with a sanitary bag and even a face cloth. But it just doesn't look right on top of a toilet, so it definitely needs a bigger sink here in front of the mirror, um, so we can put all that on there because there's another mirror there you see. But apart from that, this is brilliant. Right then, let's go and have a look around because there's so much to see. Okay, so straight outside the door and I'm met with a suit of shining armour. Look at this, this is great. A proper shining armour. <laughs> really, really good teaming. All these in the corridor, tapestries. Paintings. 
Certainly one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in. Right, join me in a second. Come back outside, there's actually extensive grounds here. Uh, just behind this white marquee, there's a really big lawn. Of course, it's quite dark now, so I can't really show too much. But I will show you a bit. There's loads of parking, it's got its own private driveway, goes on for about half a mile. And this is the beauty of it. Really nice. Quite an impressive place, isn't it? So let's go and walk through into reception. Okay, so just look at the coat of arms there on top. Yeah, it's great. As soon as you walk in, you can smell the coal fire. Uh, it's really nice. Nice seating area in the lobby. Mm, cool. even a gift shop. So they actually sell their own souvenirs. That's great. Look at this. They even got their own teddy bears. And you can buy a I'd rather be at Melville Castle mug for eight pound. Which is different. Yeah. I'm really impressed with this place. Just let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it worth the money? Okay, so I've just got back to the room and I've just been reading through some of this uh, history of the hotel. It's actually over 900 years old, or there's been a, a, a castle around this site for over 900 years. Uh, and it's got a really interesting past. In fact, um, in more recent history, Queen Victoria stayed here and it was her first tour of Scotland in uh, 1842. So Queen Victoria stayed in this hotel. Um, you know, it'd be great to think that I'm staying here, and uh, someone so important was staying there at the time. Now, after that, uh, it was uh, leased to um, the army, and it was actually used for a glass house or rehabilitation centre. So uh, after the end did that after the war, um, it was a pretty sorry state for itself. So there was no roof and everything was collapsing. So in 1993, um, it went under a, an eight year extensive restoration project. And uh, eventually, uh, after changing ownership, it opened as a four star hotel in 2003. And uh, still is to this day. But yeah, really, really nice place. Quality rooms, um, certainly the best hotel I've stayed in so far. Yeah, I just thought I'd add that. So let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> Would you stay here for 55 quid? Uh, and was it worth the money? Let me know below.